Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for yet another Outer Print Blu ray DVD hunting video for you guys today. Out here in Burbank, California, I'm about to hit up some shops in and around the town, seeing what kind of cool deals we can come up on. Hopefully, something you never know unless you look. But I'm with my buddy right now, Mr. Aaron K. Carter. Yeah. What's cracking, man? Oh, not much, just hanging out, you know. Yeah, just doing your thing. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that shirt you're wearing, dude. Oh, thanks, man. I really kind of like that one. It's yeah. like, yeah. But uh, we're also you're probably going to get something to eat in a little while, too. So come along with us. If you like these Blu-ray hunting videos, hit them thumbs up. The first stop of the day that we're going to is Atomic Records out here in Burbank. Let's head on in. came across some of the Friday the 13th ones in here. I mean, some of these are like the same kind of covers, but some of them are not. Like, what is this? Like, this is like Shout Factory. And it has, you know, the Shout Factory stuff in there. Well, maybe they reversed the covers? No, I don't, I've never seen this with, as a reverse cover before. Unless I'm totally missing something, but that's that's kind of cool. But why, they're all, why are they all separately? What is this? Oh. Texas Chainsaw 2, that's coming in the 4K soon. Oh, it's region B though. Yeah, that's not gonna work in your thing. Yeah. You still digging through over here. What do you have in your hand? I don't know, what is the season's greetings? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Hmm. They, have, they always have some like random like stuff in here. Of course, some common stuff as well. But, you know, they do have like some what's happening going on here, good old new room. There's this thing I was thinking about. I was thinking about Grey Gardens. I think it's a documentary. I think I've seen this documentary, something about these these ladies at one point. Mm. This is Criterion. It's 20 bucks, but I think it's 50% off. But okay. I could be wrong, but who knows? We're still hunting. We'll find something. We'll find something. Just got out of Atomic Records. I got a couple things. Did you get anything? No. No? It's all good. We're still on the hunt, though. I didn't get anything super spectacular, but there's something. The next place that we're going to is right behind Blast from the Past, right behind here, and it's called Hollywood Book and Poster. I've been here a couple times, small little joint, but they uh, they pack a lot of stuff in there. They used to be in Hollywood, obviously. <laughs> yeah, and now they've moved back over here. Yeah. So let's go see if they have anything cool today. Like I said, guys, Hollywood Book and Poster has a lot of cool stuff. They just added like a big section of like cool like band t-shirts and stuff over there. They even have some horror ones. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys in a second here. Like Reanimator, Halloween t-shirts and stuff. Like, dude, look at this, Little Rascals. Uh, what's it called, He-Man Woman Haters Club? That, that's kind of that's kind of badass right there. But the thing is that we come in here for is of course the movies to see what kind of stuff they got going on. Aaron, you coming across anything? Um. I'm a, I'm a fan of this movie. I don't know if this is the short version or the longer version. I think this is the, sh the shorter one. I think the longer one had uh, the box set. Oh, I see. Like the like one with a thicker case to it. Oh, okay. But yeah, these guys get a lot of cool, like rare, you know, rare-ish kind of movies, like Vinegar Syndrome kind of titles for the most part. And if you're into VHS tapes, they got you covered over here as well. But th there is something here that... You can kind of sort of see, like they have a lot of rare kind of cool stuff, like I don't know if that one's out of print anymore, but they do have Evil Dead 5, you know, going on over there along with some Rudy Ray, Rudy Ray Moore uh, box sets and stuff. I always like coming into these kind of places, man. You never know what you're going to, you never know what you're going to come up on. $3.99 or $3.95 for a breakfast club, see, not, not, a, not a bad place either. And also, they buy collections, too, uh, for you guys that are out there uh, in this area that you're trying to, you know, downsize your collections. They buy them, too. But, yeah, dude, if we find anything here today, we'll definitely uh, let you guys know at the end. You see anything over there yet, dude? No, not yet. No? They do have that Forgotten Jolly Volume 3 box set. Is that, yeah, that's Vinegar Syndrome, I believe. 
I have, I've never really... Have you gotten into the Jolly films before, Aaron? I don't know. Uh, I, think, I think Jolly means yellow. Forgotten Jolly, or... I don't know. They're horror films, all right? Yeah, like Italian, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. But I always have a hard time getting into those. I'm kind of half and half on them. Yeah, they have the movie Don't Panic and uh, C Cemetery of Terror. They, 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 get some, they get some good stuff in here. I mean, I'm not saying those are, like, amazing movies, but they, they get some, like... You know, not not so generic kind of titles is what I'm saying. But look at me and Aaron are gonna keep hunting. And if we come up on anything, we'll let you guys know. Hollywood Book and Poster does have a handful of really cool stuff in there. Uh, but they do know. They do search up the the eBay, Amazon prices of things, so if you're trying to get a big deal, eh. But if you're trying to find something rare that you just can't find. That's the place you got to check out. Just made it to our next destination of the day, which is right around the corner from the last stop that we just went to, the you know, Hollywood Book and Poster. We're over here at the Goodwill across the street. Let's head on in and see if they have any uh, anything cool. Man, these places today are blasting music like it's no other. But I thought Goodwills were not supposed to take VHS tapes anymore. But I see a handful of them in here today. Because I tried to donate some to a... To, to one recently, and they were just like, we don't take them, but yet now they sell them for three ninety nine a piece. Uh, and they're mostly Disney titles, but what's up with that, Aaron? Oh, there's a Cars VHS. Oh yeah. Yeah. I grab it then. Where is it? I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. No, I'll find it myself. Yeah. No, it's not up there. Look at that. Make people get all freaked out. But teenage teenage zombie. I think it's like a fifties movie. Yeah. It looks like it's a bad release, like... Like one of those, like, dollar ones? Yeah. Like one of those ones... This is, this is like a movie that you would have in your collection, just like... I probably, I probably do have it in my collection. Yeah. You're, you're it's in, probably on a Mill Creek title. Oh, yeah, Mill Creek, like, bundle, box, a big thing or something? Yeah. Yeah. But we shall see what we come across. What is this? So what did you just come up on over here? Well, we were watching this last night. Yeah, we're, but, we're, there were some episodes playing on TV. But there's, there's a better box set. There's a one yeah, about that big. Yeah, I think Sony put it out. Yeah, yeah. Better. You can't, guys. Let us know what you guys think about Three Stooges in the comments. Because if anybody says you hate them, I, I don't know what's wrong with you. Like, how could you, like, not at least enjoy the Three Stooges? But we're trying in here see if we find anything cool today. There's like, should I buy that? Yes. For, for us? Yeah, it's two ninety nine. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely a different kind of. Uh, Environment in the last two places that had some kind of you know more decent kind of stuff in it But you know you never know what you're gonna come across in a in a goodwill like what people are gonna bring in donate or whatever You just never know. What is this? Encore Mary Poppins Star Wars VHS Special edition so still out here in Burbank my buddy Aaron's walking on over here to a sports card uh, store and I'm gonna be heading on over to Dark Delicacies. Let's go on in, see what they got going on. He's looking at their DVD Blu-ray Wall of Doom uh, that they have going on. But they also have a section over here of like semi-new releases and autographed uh, items on some of them. Death Toilet Trilogy. Um, I don't know about that, but I think I have my own little Death Toilet whenever I go to the bathroom. Uh, they also have like Amityville in Space. Uh, DVD in here from Wild Eye releasing an Amityville Hex uh, up in here. This is like so many of these ones, but who made this thing? Oh yeah, Tom Newton. I think I know. I think I know that name. He made those like VHS documentaries, if I'm not mistaken. They also have Halloween double feature horror show going on here. I don't really see a whole bunch of like like autograph ones, uh, at least on this rack. They usually did uh, here. American Hunt. They got going on. I think this is where the autograph ones are. Right over here, they have like autograph DVDs and Blu-rays um, on this shelf right here. So, like, Camille Spiders. Some of these ones I don't even really know. Uh, the Scared Stiff I do and Doom Asylum I do. 40 bucks. I think it's like the director. Uh, you know, signed these ones. Going on over here. Yeah, it's a handful of autograph ones. They have a movie right here that OGP is in, and they, uh, yeah, OGP is in this one, House of Pain. If you guys ever want to support, um, you know, OGP or my, my homeboy right there, 
check out that movie, House of Pain. It'll change your life. Um, but yeah, they also have a whole bunch of different, like, movie posters back here, too. These ones are not autographed or anything, but... Oh, actually, some of them might be. I wonder who signed that one. DB. DB. Darren Lynn Bowsman? Is that autographed by Darren Lynn Bowsman? That might be. That might be. Sorry, Leba. That's like 60 bucks or 50 bucks or something. Yeah, they do have like some scattered ones that are like autographed here. Like, I think that's maybe Tom Savini on that one. A lot of really cool different kind of posters going on in here. Nightbreed. This is like a smaller, smaller print, but really cool looking. The Fly. Is this like Mondo or something? A Mondo print? Village of the Damned remake. This poster, I always remember it from the, the video store days. Not a great movie, but the poster I always remember. And of course, the Halloween uh, one they got going on. And even an old Gunnar Hansen autograph on the wall when he used to come here and sign autographs and stuff back in the day. That's so rad. That's so rad. I, I, I met Gunnar a couple times. He was actually one of my uh, first interviews I ever did on my YouTube channel back in the day for you guys that don't remember or don't know. They also have a whole bunch of different, and of course, you know, horror decor and like, you know, ornaments and cool pillows of like Chucky and of course Michael Myers over here. And if you want to get a little candy bowl with Chucky, you can. The Dark Delicacy's got you covered. And of course, the obligatory Funko Pops. But yeah, I, I said to show this. This is kind of cool. So what should we eat, dude? I kind of want a drink too. Already? It's the afternoon. Yeah, it's the afternoon. It's not the morning. Yeah. It's so. 12.30 in the afternoon. I think Gordon Beers is always a good... Uh, good it's more, that's, that's one of your favorite places, huh? Uh, I really like it there. Let's go get some food then. All right. Let's go. Oh, real quick. Oh, yeah. You went to the, you went to the little baseball card shop. Yeah, I got some garbage pail kids recently. Mm. So uh, I need this, the sleeves. You know, they have like nine on them. Yeah. Right here. So. I got you, yeah. So you got that little pack. How much do they charge those things for now? This thing's 20 bucks. And to Gordon Bearish, we go. We just arrived to Gordon Bearish here, or just a little while ago. Aaron's got his frothy, his frothy drinky drink. What do you call that one? This one's called a Marzen. A Marsden? Marzen. Marzen. This one's called a... Um, Heffenweizen. A Heffenweizen? Yeah. Yeah, I just thought, I just thought it looked kind of cool the way it was coming and bubbling and stuff. The food just arrived over here. I ended up getting some chicken tenders with uh, some mashed potatoes right here. Gar or garlic mashed potatoes, I believe, is what they are officially called over here. What did you end up getting? A uh, Philly cheesesteak sandwich. Okay. It's pretty good. You had this one before? No. All right. Some mashed potatoes. We're finally at this last location of the day. It's called Revenge Of. And we saw some pictures. We've never been here before. Yeah, it might but, be kind of cool. Yeah, it could be kind of interesting. We're going here for you guys. For yeah, you for guys. you. We, go, we jumped on the freeway and came over here yeah. for you. Even though gas is fucking $6 a gallon, we came here for you. Yeah. So that, that's a uh, head on in and see what this place is all about. Hopefully they let us uh, film in there. We just got in here. To this store this is what you see right when you walk in it's kind of like twilight zone related huh yeah it's pretty like, cool in here kind of feel to it there's some toys up there and what is this thing a pot of gold we got we got ghost face so uh, i guess we're gonna head on in here see what they got hey you got a card oh yeah and dude yeah. i see i see some blu-rays i see some movies but it's a bunch of oh horror titles they got the monster squad Twenty four ninety five up in here. Was this? A, was that a board game? Eighty bucks. Not oh no, no, that's the Blu-ray set. That's eighty bucks for the. I don't know, man. I don't know about that set. Have you seen this movie? Uh, Fantastic Planet. No. Pretty good action. Dude, they have a whole bunch of stuff in here. It's a Criterion crazy up in here, and of course other horror stuff. This one's getting a four K release uh, from um, Shout Factory soon. I think they already made it. I have that one at home. Uh, it's, some, it's, some, it's kind of like randomness. They even have Matinee with John Goodman. Remember that one? Oh, yeah. $34.99. Is that what... I, I don't even know the price of that one it goes for anymore. But this place has more other stuff than this, but I got to fix that in a second when I put this camera down. But, yeah. Oh, we'll fix it. You going to do it? I'll fix it. Whatever. Yeah. 
Thank you. But dude, yeah, some cool stuff. What is this? This looks like something you would like. Oh, well, what's this thing? The hammer comes? Oh, yeah, I think it's not a Mill Creek set. Yeah, that's a Mill Creek one too. $109. Uh, yeah, I think you're putting that one back. I think you're putting that one back. Dude, check this out, dude. The Toxic Crusaders. Oh, nice. Uh, action figure right here. And this thing kind of stands out to me like crazy. It's like Tiger uh, Entertainment. I used to play these kind of games when I was younger. Those games suck. No, I know, but I, do you remember those things, though? Oh, yeah, they got garbage hooked in. Uh, oh, yeah, speaking of that, yeah, you're, you're like, getting stuff for your card collection. Yeah. Would you, would you collect these things? No, I just like the cards. Yeah. You, how long have you been collecting the cards for? You know, they came out like in... Like 85, 86, so yeah. I, since I was a little kid. Oh, so you had some of those since that time? I got all of them. I got, yeah. I got. And this thing's only 20 bucks for for that, but I don't know. That'd be that'd be like pure, a pure nostalgia thing just to get, but if I did. A bunch of this, yeah. Yeah, they based C-3PO off this character. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's cool. Look at this. Like right over here, they have like a little Miss Pac-Man game or Pac-Man where you can play and just like sit on this couch and... Play Pac-Man together. Oh, it's free too. Oh, well, that's cool. Free play, son. And whoa, this is the game section that they have in here. Pinball. It's like a little like Pinball Hall of Fame or something, man. There's like 20 games in there. Yeah, it's like Avengers with Thanos on it and stuff, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Willy Wonka. Dude, they have a Willy Wonka game in here. How random and cool is that? I did that. Oh, you get three balls. Dude, they even have the Halloween one. I don't, I don't even know one person that has that. My bro, my, uh, my, bro, my bro is Sean Clark. He has one of these in his house. It's kind of cool. You can like, you know, sell different characters in there and stuff. Dude, on there, whoa. Whoa, 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 hang on the TV. Is that, um, is it Demolition Man or is it that, uh, the net? No, it's Demolition Man. Yeah? Oh yeah, yep, Demolition Man. I would say these two games are probably the coolest looking ones. We got, of course, Ghostbusters pinball machine going on right there. And we have a Jurassic Park one right here. But like, look at this little slot that they have where you get to shoot out, shoot out your little ball. Isn't that kind of cool? Like straight from the movie? I like that. That is pretty, that is pretty sweet. We ex explored the, the arcade that they have here. But they also have a mystery grab bag machine. A mystery, you have to put five bucks in and you'll get like a mystery DVD or, of, of some sort. A lot of them are all out. There's still some in there, but. I'm just curious, do you get like the case or do you just get the disc? I don't know, but we're about to put five dollars in there to see what the mystery DVD is gonna be. It's probably gonna be Titanic. Yeah, it's probably gonna be something stupid. Uh, oh, is your A1? C3? C3. Let's see what this mystery DVD is gonna be. We'll let you know at the end. Uh-oh. Who spent five bucks on a mystery? I guess we'll find out what it is in the car. That Revenge of was kind of cool. Never been there before and not a bad spot. Not a not, not a bad spot. But we're about to show you guys what we picked up today. Aaron already got that, you know, thing for his uh garbage barrel kids cards. Yeah, he sleeps. But uh we got that mystery DVD. Uh, right here from Revenge of. It's a mystery. But we found out afterwards, we didn't open it yet, it's still sealed or whatever, that it most likely won't have any cover art or anything. You wanna open it up and find out what it is? You wanna do that last? No, let's do it now, fuck All it. Right. Let's just see what it is. But they said that it could be like prizes for something in the store. It can be like, you know, tokens or, you know, whatever. But there's like a mystery di a DVD in there with like no case or anything. <laughs> I mean, you know, like artwork or whatever. What is it, like Bambi, Titanic, what is it? It's a movie right up your alley, Brendan. My alley? Right up your alley. Okay. And how dare them to sell this for five bucks. Oh no, what is it? Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? It's a Barbie movie. Huh. And there's no tickets or any, anything in there. And that was five bucks? And there's no artwork. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, so. They, they couldn't at least give us artwork for that thing. That was the mystery DVD. They made five bucks off us at least. Well, you got a case if, you, if any of your cases are bad. Is there anything inside there? Or is it just nothing? Oh. Yeah. Thanks for the Barbie movie, guys. 
I appreciate it, Revenge of. I just met you, and I feel like I need to get revenge back. But, uh, yeah, the other things I picked up today were uh, at uh, Atomic Records. Both are Goldie Hawn movies. First off is a movie I saw, I used to watch back when it first came out on like VHS. Uh, first Wives Club. This is like the new Paramount Presents line uh, of it. it was... Brennan, why would you get that? <laughs> <laughs> Bette Miller's awesome. Screw you. Diane Lane's cool, too. But, uh, yeah, I just remember thinking this movie was funny back then. And to have it on Blu-ray, what the hell. I think it's the first time it's been released on Blu-ray. And the other Goldie Hawn one I got was uh, Bird on Wire. Bird on, Bird on a Wire. With I, a I, remember that, I remember that being pretty good, actually. Yeah? Uh, these, in, in fact, I, I haven't even seen it on Blu-ray in my life. Yeah. There was, this one was put out by Kino. Uh, and the price tags that you see on there are not, not where we paid. The, they have the prices on them, and whatever prices they are, at Freak Beat is half off. Yeah. So I no, got Atomic. Atomic Records. Sorry, Atomic Records. Yeah, half off. Yeah. Well, that's all we have to show and talk to you guys about today for this little out of print Blu ray hunting video. Didn't find anything out of print, but uh, actually, we came across some stuff that may have been in some of the stores. Kind of pricey, like at Revenge of. But if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you guys on the flippity flop.